Hello and welcome to lesson number six, the last one from New Jersey. Um, this is going to be on multiple lenses, but the special case where one of the lenses makes an image behind the second lens. So multiple lenses, special case. And for this, you're going to need a straight line, an arrow, and at least 10 little marks. Now notice, is this a perfectly straight line? No, I can't seem to draw straight lines. But it was supposed to be a straight line. And what we're going to do is we're going to imagine that there are two lenses. One lens is at three centimeters in. One, two, three. And it's convex. The other one is going to be two centimeters away from that. And also convex. Both of these are going to have a focal point of two. Focal point of two. Focal point of two which means this one has a dot and actually has a back focal point right here, but we don't really need that. And this one has a focal point right here and a focal point right here. This is a very special case, a case where they both have the same focal point and they're sitting on each other's focal point. This is a special case because that's actually the special case is the only one you can draw. All right, so we're going to do lens number one. Number one, the focal point is two centimeters. The distance is three centimeters. So just like I did on the last lesson, I guess I'll do it again. Distance of image is one over the focal length minus one over the distance, which is three six minus two six is one six. The image is at six centimeters which means six centimeters behind, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six centimeters, I'm gonna put a little mark. Six centimeters is where the image would be if this lens wasn't here. But now you put this lens here. Uh-oh, the image that we're gonna use as our object is now behind the lens. So it can be very confusing. Lens number two. It also has a focal length of two centimeters, but it doesn't have a distance of three centimeters. It actually, this lens, sees its object as one, two, three, four centimeters, but not four centimeters in front of it, four centimeters behind it. So if it's four centimeters, it's gonna be negative four. This is an imaginary object. You can only have an imaginary object if you have more than one lens sort of a weird concept, but you're using the image from the first one as your object for the second one, and since the image is on the wrong side of the lens, we have to say it's negative. So we're going to go to the equation. 1 over di equals 1 over the focal length, 2 minus 1 over the distance, 1 over negative 4. So this is 1 half plus 1 fourth, which is 3 fourths. Or that means our distance is four thirds. That means our distance should be about one and a third. It should be about right there behind the lens. Okay, so how do we draw this? Should be about there. Only can draw them with imaginary objects in the special case. Because something weird happens. Let's start with the first lens. We start with the horizontal line and then it bends to the focal point. However, the focal point of this lens is the center of this lens. So when it hits here, it just keeps on going. Okay, how about the second thing? We draw from the top through the center of the lens. Now when it hits this lens, it's like it's coming from the focal point. So that'll change it to being horizontal. This is a really weird special case. Let me go over it again. The first ray, horizontal, then through the focal point, which also just happens to be through the center of the second lens, so the second lens doesn't mess up this ray. The second ray goes through the center of this ray. When it hits this one, it's like it's coming from the focal point, so it makes it go straight. If you look at it backwards, 
it's going straight horizontal, so then it would go through the focal point. And this one is coming from the focal point, so then it becomes horizontal. Like I said, this only works in the special case. And in this case, we've got an image that is a little bit more than one. It actually looks like one and two thirds instead of one and one third, but when you draw it, you're just trying to get an estimate. Notice that this is a real image because the light actually hits it. We can't say it's real because it's upside down because we have two lenses, so it could go either way. But it's real because the light actually goes to it. We don't have to go dot, dot, dot and see where the image is. But it is upside down. How big is this compared to this? Well, if you look at it, it looks a tiny bit smaller, but you can't really tell. So let's look at the map to see if it's bigger or smaller. What is the magnification from the first lens? From lens number one, the magnification is the ratio of the two distances. So you go from three to six. So it should be from the first lens, the magnification should be six over three or two times as big but upside down. So first one, magnification is negative two. Sorry, ran out of room. Second one, the magnification should be the ratio of these two times negative one. So this should be four over three divided by four, or the magnification should be one third. One third, sort of ran out of room. Ratio means you divide this one by this one and multiply by negative one. Ratio means you divide this one by this one and multiply by negative one. So this one, the first lens flipped it and made it twice as big. The second one didn't flip it and made it one third as big. The total is negative two thirds. Two times one third as big as the first one. So if the first one was three centimeters tall, the second one is negative two centimeters tall. This is a very weird case and a very special case. And that's the end. And um, please email me your questions, and I will see you on Friday. Night.